welcome back guys happy new year it is january 2nd where am i headed work somebody's got to make the money and bring it home <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, just kidding. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Hannah. I'm an Atlanta-based flight attendant. If you're not new, welcome back. Happy 2023, you guys. Can't believe we're in 2023. It's almost eight o'clock right now. It's like seven, yeah, it's 7.40. I am actually doing a late sign-in. I am doing, I'm working an all-nighter basically. So I have, I really thought someone was gonna pick it up. I had high hopes, I've been checking up until six o'clock tonight and no one wanted to pick this trip up. It's fine. It's really not a bad trip. We're going one leg to Seattle and I think we land around 1 a.m. and then we have like a 30 hour layover and then we fly back and work an all nighter and I'll land at 6.30 a.m. on Wednesday. So it's really not a horrible trip. It's just gonna be that all nighter and pushing through because you know how I am about all nighters. They're really tough for me, but at least I've got Prince's pick up and drop off. Thanks, babe. You're welcome. Starting the new year off right, aren't we? Last time. <laughs> babe, don't uh. say stuff like that. <laughs> I also got some new bangs. New year, new me. I can't decide how I feel about them. I think they're cute. Like one second I'm like, oh, they look really cute. And then the next minute I'm kind of iffy, but I just got these done today. I got my hair a little blonder. And also, DB and I have to start planning our wedding. We, I need to give you guys the updates on everything. We've got one update. We booked the Airbnb, that's it. That trash can. Maybe you should zoom in. Is no bueno. the hotel the last hour was a struggle I've actually worked this red eye before I have a video on it actually so go check that out because that seems like it was forever ago and I was thinking back to it and I was like I can't believe I did that like I had to have been so tired I'm just not a big red eye gal they're really they're really hard I've only done a couple just because it's hard making your body power through and stay up. Since I was trying to power through on the plane, I started getting a little bit of a headache because I told you guys like I get migraines and there's different things that trigger it and like lack of sleep and just like, oh, I don't know. So I'm about to take some Excedrin migraine to hop in the bed because I'm so exhausted. I am not setting an alarm. I'm going to sleep as late as I need to. Van pickup is at like 9.30 p.m. and we work the red eye home. It's a four hour flight, so by the time we get home, it'll be 6.30 a.m. I'm gonna be exhausted, y'all. Get home Wednesday morning and I'm off on Wednesday, but then I have a two day starting on the 5th and I'm really hoping someone picks it up because that red eye is gonna kill me. When when you do a red eye, you're just you're everything's out of whack. My sleep, my body, everything is, and I need like multiple days to regroup. Also, I wanted to tell you guys thank y'all for all the recommendations on my sinuses. I just went to go visit Dana and I was not doing well at all. Like my sinuses were some kind of way. I took y'all's advice. I've also been like drinking tea every single night with honey. I feel so much better. My nose, I'm still like, I still have a little bit of a runny nose, but it's basically everything's gone. Like I'm sleeping again, my nose isn't stopped up. So thank you all for your recommendations. I appreciate you guys. I love that like y'all give me advice. I can tell you guys though, the flight went really great. Uh, we did have a lot of turbulence. So we were, we had to sit in our jump seats for like, 
almost two hours, the first two hours of the flight. Like, it was that bad. And finally, we were able, the captain cleared us to get up, so we did service. And everyone was pretty needy, but only because they had been sitting for so long. And when you're in the air, you know, your throat gets dry, so a lot of people wanted water, which is totally understandable. But that just um, made for a longer service, which was fine. But it was a decent flight. Nothing crazy, all good things. Oh, I didn't even tell you guys. We got a cute little Starbucks gift card from one of our passengers and she told us happy holidays and I just thought that was precious because I was not expecting that. I'm like, oh, the holidays are over. The presents are not gonna keep coming. And sure enough, I got another Starbucks gift card. So that was cute. Good night, you guys. On repeat today while I plan for the new year. I forgot to show you guys last night how cool this is. I'm in the bathroom. There's a clock in the mirror. How cute is that? And yes, it's 3.43 p.m. I basically slept all day, which was totally acceptable because my sleep is so thrown off. That's the one thing about this job is you're just, you go with the flow, your sleep is all out of whack. I haven't eaten at all and I'm starting to get hungry and I'm gonna have to like sleep before going on our flight tonight. And also, that's why I haven't done anything because I'm trying to be very chill. I didn't want to get out, rest up before our flight tonight. But there's a coffee shop downstairs, so I'm about to go get probably a salad, maybe a little sweet treat. I don't know if you guys can see it. And that is a mountain. And look how pretty it is out there. This is just beautiful. This is what we did for a door lock last night. I know that it probably wouldn't save me from an intruder, but it made me feel better. There is no, usually there's like a lock right here. So if someone tries to open the door, it like wakes you up or catches the door, but they didn't have one. So I set my suitcase up in case someone tried to come in here and at least it would wake me up. <laughs> Got us a cute little sandwich and a cookie that's almost gone because I couldn't wait to eat it. Time to try and close my eyes, you guys. It's, it's, yeah, it's 5.40 p.m. Seattle time right now, which I've been pretty lazy all day, so that's good because I knew it's going to be really hard for me tonight to work this all-nighter. I'm going to wake up at 8. Our van pickup is 9.20. So I have my alarm set, take like a little two hour nap. A little nervous though, because Derek texts me earlier saying that we in Georgia were under a tornado warning or watch, I don't remember which one, but and at like 7 a.m. and I literally land at 6.30 a.m. It hasn't been bad weather here, but I've been seeing on social media that it's like extremely bad in Atlanta. So I don't know what's going on. Like there were some businesses that posted that they closed for the rest of the day. So I'm kind of nervous because I'm like, is it going to be super turbulent? Are we going to be able, are we going to be able to land? Are we going to be delayed? Like what's the, what's going on? So I guess we'll find out. So hopefully everything is okay. It is a full flight. I checked it yesterday. And I put in for daily PPT, which gives us the ability if, if staffing is good, they will reward us. Like if we have saved up PPT hours, which is like paid personal time, and they'll credit that for our trip. But I checked to see what they awarded today and they only awarded for one day trips. 
and mine's a two-day trip, so that's a little iffy. So, staffing has been weird this week. I guess people are still taking vacation and there's a lot of people out or something, but it's been kind of weird. Hey guys, it's a couple hours later. I was like in and out of sleep for about two hours. I set my alarm, I gave myself like a solid two hours, but I didn't really fully go to sleep. I had people texting me and DB called me before he went to bed because everyone's on different time schedules. I was just in and out of sleep, but I went ahead and made some coffee. I feel like I did get a good like solid nap for at least like 30 minutes, I think. So, about to do my makeup really quick. Everything's packed up and ready to go. I'm just putting on some little hand sanitizer. I always keep that in my bag before I do my makeup, just before I like touching my brushes and stuff. I really hope that me like getting a little bit of shut eye helps me because I had some anxiety while laying in bed like I was waking up and my heart was racing and I felt like my jaw was clenched and I kept thinking about like not getting enough sleep. Good thing about these long haul flights that are like through the night is that you have like two services. You help up front with the lead flight attendant because she has meals and stuff like that so you're like busy but the bad thing is is that so many people go to sleep because it's so late at night so it's very hit or miss whether you'll like stay busy or not and that's the best way to stay awake is by staying busy no one has picked up my trip for thursday yet but crazier things have happened where literally they'll pick it up like an hour before. So you never know. And it's fine if I, I need to work. So if no one picks it up, like that's the good thing about this job is like, I love my job. So if no one picks up my trips, like it's fine. I love going to work. But <laughs> if someone picks it up, it's like, yay, I get to stay home with Mavie and DB. <laughs> it's finished putting on my makeup and I'm gonna pack up. It's perfect timing. It's like nine o'clock. You're there. It's 9.05. DB and I just got home. He picked me up from the airport. It's about 8 a.m. now. I just got out of the shower. And I'm sorry if I seem so tired because I am. I'm exhausted. But thankfully today is a dreary day and I'm just going to rest and be super low key. But this is the typical life of a flight attendant. You make plans to do things. I was going to go to the grocery store. I had a long to do list and knock out things since I have a two day starting tomorrow but um I'm too exhausted <laughs>
of them. Here you go, baby. Thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. <laughs> Boop. Yeah, one more. Yay. I got the... One more. What did I get? The oat milk shaken espresso. I was feeling a cold brew today. Sure, buddy, you must have. Because... Sure, buddy. It's a little warm outside for January. It's not warm. Baby, it's, it's it warm. Great. It's no, it feels warm. great. But like, I'm just saying, like, it's a day for iced coffee, you know. Thank you. I should have got an iPhone. No one told you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Hey guys. So we made it to Portland. I don't even know if I told y'all that we were coming to Portland, Oregon, but that's where we are. It is. 8.20 p.m. We were delayed for two hours and it's been a long day. And what's crazy is this trip really wasn't that bad, but we were delayed for, I guess, I don't even remember. We were delayed because we didn't have pilots. Then we were delayed because the bathrooms weren't working. And this was a full, like almost a five hour flight. So we had to have, we like had to make sure the labs were working before we left. So, Tomorrow is going to be rough because normally with this being like I signed in late today I didn't sign in until like 3 p.m. Normally when you have a late sign in you have a late wake up like pick up time for the next day and then you get home late. Well with this trip we signed in late today. Our van pickup time in the morning is 5.55 a.m. And we don't land at home until 10 o'clock tomorrow night. So prayers let's put that out in the universe good vibes because tomorrow's gonna be a long day i think we do portland to seattle seattle to many many to atlanta so it's a long day and then we have a three and a half hour sit in many so that's really adding in our time of getting in late that's what's you know it's a whole thing whatever but i have the weekend off so i'm thankful for that i honestly don't care i will work any crappy trip to have the weekend off and hang out with DB. It's the price you pay for being a junior flight attendant. We've made it to the room and of course on the way here, I was like, oh, I've never been here before. Yes, I've been here multiple times actually. And I actually really like this hotel room. This is a little bathroom, nothing crazy. I'm gonna shower really quick before bed. But this closet is really cool, love this. Boop. Nice. Of course, friends is on. Got this cute little mirror. I love, I remember this from last time. It's like a little nightlight. Isn't that cute? So I'm pretty sure I turned it on last time. I love the bed. It's humongo. And then we got like this little cozy corner. I've already done my room checks, little painting, our cure coffee in the morning. And we had a cute little passenger bring us these chocolates and none of my crew members wanted to eat them. They were like, I can't, I don't need to eat chocolates. And me, you know, I was like, gladly, I'll step up and take them. But he, he was so cute. He was like, oh, my daughter is actually a flight attendant and she's trained me to bring treats to all the flight attendants when I travel. Valentine's Day thing. This is the one I've been eating on the whole time because it's I honestly have been eating it because it has hearts on the wrapper. I just walk in the bathroom. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It's a little rose. I seriously don't want to mess it up. I don't know what to do. I just showered, put on my PJs because there's not a lot of time. Very, very short layover. Like I told you guys, our van pickup is at 5.55 a.m. So I'll probably wake up around like 4.50 just to like give myself some time. My skin is feeling extremely dry. I don't know why on, I did use a lot of hand sanitizing wipes. I guess it's because it's a longer flight and I'm like cleaning the bathrooms and handing people things and I don't know. My hands are just like very, very dry and my face is super duper dry. Of course, we're gonna put on my favorite lip balm to hydrate my lips. Ooh, there. 
are so chapped. Right before I left for this trip, I was telling DB how it was time for me to get my nails done. And I was like, they're doing so good. Like, I've got all of them still because they're super grown out. I don't know if y'all can see. And look, two of them popped off during this flight. <laughs> I worked galley tonight, so I feel like anytime I'm working galley, <sighs> you're in a dangerous zone working galley. Because I don't know why I'm so harsh on my my nails. This flight wasn't bad at all. It was just very long, but it actually went by pretty fast. Um, the people were nice, nothing too crazy. We had a few people that were a little iffy, but you know, I feel like that's just common. I expect to have a few people that are gonna be sassy. Um, but overall, it was a very good flight and people were nice. I've got to go to bed. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. We've got the weekend off coming up. I'm excited. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to like mentally prepare myself for this long day. So I'm manifesting all of these exciting things to look forward to. So <laughs> I'm not like dreading the day not that i'm dreading the day but it's gonna be a long one it's almost 5 a.m wait right no 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 it's almost 6 a.m now and i told you guys we don't land until 10 tonight so we have like a 13 hour duty day but technically only seven hours are flight hours and the rest are like us sitting in different airports and yes, I know that sounds like, oh, well, you're sitting, you're like getting to hang out. But honestly, after you fly, because mo two of our flights are really long. So it's like after you fly and then sit for a while, you're so drained. It's hard to like bring yourself back to the same energy level <laughs> and get going again. So it's like we fly, we sit, we fly, we sit. And it's just kind of up and down. So it makes for a really long day. Um... But it's gonna be fine, it's gonna be great. Super exciting, I was messing around with my schedule last night and I was able to swap some things around and I've got every single weekend off this month. I know, I told you guys my December schedule, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. Um, in my December schedule, it was a really good schedule. It is not as good as that schedule because I was not working a lot, but so I'm still working a lot, but I do have every single weekend off. So I'll take that as a win. I'm excited because as a junior flight attendant, that does not normally happen all the time. So I'm excited. And I also have a brunch this weekend with two of my really good friends. We're about to, I got my bag packed up. We're gonna head downstairs. I'm kind of hoping they have like some coffee out or something because the hotel coffee was not that great. <laughs> 